Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Gold. When we last left off, we had just been our rival for the final time, and we also beat Blaine for our 7th Johto badge, and now we are here to take on Blue, the Fallen Champion. And if you guys remember what Blue's Pokemon were from Red and Blue, they're pretty identical to what he has now so just a little heads up huh, i was in the mood at silver island but now i'm ready to battle you you're telling me you conquered all the gyms in johto <laughs> johto gyms must be pretty pathetic then hey don't worry about it i know if you are getting on by battling you right now ready johto boy huh <clears throat> yep, that's blue. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't he? <laughs> so, right there, Pidgeot. Same exact Pokemon he used uh, when he first fought him. I'm not really surprised at most. What else is now? Come on, two times in a row now? Come on, sip up, Akazawa. You know you can do it. Thank you. Probably would help if I actually had my Pokemon leveled up. Alright, we're gonna use uh, Shadow Ball. Really? Ghost does not affect flying. You're kidding me. Wow. Well, I guess I'm going to use Fan Attack then. <clears throat> Stupid Fan Attack. Shadow Ball. Seriously, the Ghost? How, how can you say Ghost does not affect flying? It's like so effing random. Might as well say freaking grass doesn't affect. What is a water type then? Doesn't make sense. Alright, so one Pokemon down, five more to go. Next up is Rhydon. I'm gonna switch over to Lucy to take care of Rhydon. <clears throat> oh crap, no, no. I did not mean her, but that was a stupid mistake. Yeah, I kind of figured it was going to be that effective. The sandstorm rages. I meant to use surf. Gosh. That's probably, hopefully, one hit KO him. Like I said, hopefully. All right, I did. <clears throat> All right, who's the next up? Executor. Yep, we're gonna switch. Gonna use you now. Yeah, three for three. Of the same Pokemon at least. Do 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 do. Gonna use that flame wheel. I'm guessing almost one hit KO him. If it doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, almost. Ooh, solar beam scan ready. <laughs> Wait, is it gonna kill him? <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty damn funny. I'm not gonna lie. Three down, three more to go. Next up is Gyarados. Yeah, I think Gyarados is new. I might be mistaken about that though. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to switch out to Akazawa. Now I had to use a max potion. 
Leads us to heal Akazawa so he can, so can at least take a hit. <clears throat> Freaking Hyper Beam. What do you know? Yeah, it hits me. Yeah, get hit, Gyarados. Alright, let's use a Sap Cannon. See how much it does. Ooh, not bad. Paralyzed too. Yeah, it was kind of obvious because that's a effect that Zach Cannon has always paralyzes. <clears throat> All right, four down, two more to go. All right, who's next? Arcanine. And Arcanine is Blue's prized Pokemon. I still think Blue is more... Well, actually, it kind of is. Um, I still think Blue's more so model not to Gary in this game. Because Gary has an Arcanine. And it was... I'm pretty sure Arcanine was... Gary's kind of prized Pokemon on there, at least in the first season. Might have been in the second season too, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> Alright, then goes Arcanine. Alright, so who's his last one? Who's the guy who levels up? Nice. Oh, well, Alakazam. Yep, I'm gonna use Akazawa then. Yeah, so Blue at least has four of uh, his original Pokemon from the game. So, eh, you can kind of guess what to expect. <laughs> but either way, uh, we should probably be able to take out, well, I guess not anymore. Well, it's going to be a little harder. Just has to know disable. Just to. Oh yeah, duh. Wait, no. What? Oh yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I'm saying here. I'm thinking. Wait, Ghost is effective against. Uh, super effective against Psychic. I didn't know. But then yeah. Ne never mind. I'm thinking of something else. I was thinking that I was using Psychic against uh, Morty, but now I was using a Dark type move. And I'll just have to sit here and wait until what is it? The disables off so I can actually affect more damage on him. Or a critical hit works too. You can only recover so long. I hope you know that. <laughs> Alright, disable no more. Good sign, good sign. And another critical hit. And a knockout. That works. That works. Moonlight. I think I will. I'm gonna hate to do this, but I think I'm gonna uh, disband quick attack. It might just make me add a less out of advantage. How the heck did I lose? All right, here, take this. It's Earth Badge. Scary and receive the Earth Badge. <laughs> All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You're a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't forget it. Alright, so with blue taken care of, now we have 16 out of 16 badges. So, now we can gain access to Mount Silver. But in order to actually do that, we're going to have to go and talk to Professor El Oak. Why was I going to say Elk? Weird. Really. 
You're gonna make me sit here and try and fight a level two to five enemy Pokemon, whatever. Yeah, no. Alright, so like I said, we gotta talk to Professor Oak in order for you to uh, gain access to Mount Silver. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Wow, that's excellent. You collected the badges in, of gyms and Kanto. Well done. I was right in sight. Uh, so, and tell me, tell you what, Scarlet. Arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in New York, Scarlet. Go up to Indigo Plateau and you can reach, reach uh, Mount Silver from there. Oh, suck it. I haven't made any progress whatsoever. Or at least I'm not making any progress in the catch of Pokemon part. So because I'm lazy, I'm going to just fly over there. Well, fly over to Viridian City. Because if I go to Indigo Plateau, I'm going to have to sit there and uh, fly all... Not fly, go through the rock cave and blah blah blah. But if we go through here, then we're at least shot uh, right across. So there are two guards here. Uh, one, two first came here, one was guarding the entrance to the Kanto region, while the other was guarding the entrance to Mount Silver. So over here is the entrance to Mount Silver. And when Professor L. Oak was saying about uh, there's this area is very dangerous. He was not kidding. This is the area where you're gonna find the highest level wild Pokemon. Although it might not seem that dangerous, uh, it it is. Especially once you go inside Mount Silver, the wild Pokemon are. I believe in the level 50s. Uh, I want to say, if you if you take pretty much Mount Silver and compare it to one of the areas in Pokemon Red and Blue, uh, what was the cave? Oh, Cerulean Cave. Pretty much take Cerulean Cave. And that's what Mount Silver is equivalent to in this game. So once you get uh, to the Pokemon Center, you can now fly to Mount Silver, and you're always going to come here. <sighs> so, uh, really quickly, I'm going to kind of go into the entrance of Mount Silver. I'm not going to fully explore it because of one fact it's dark and the only way you're gonna figure out where to go is if you have a pokemon that knows flash and right now i'm not gonna bother with uh that and especially for one fact that uh this is pretty much like I said, uh, Cerulean Cave of Gold and Silver. And except for Mewtwo from Cerulean Cave, you have the Grand Champion in here. And you might be sitting there thinking, oh, I can take him on since I took on all the Kanto and Johto region gems. Don't. I would strongly, and I'm really mean strongly advise to sit here and level up your Pokemon 70 plus now you might you might think I'm joking when I say that I'm not uh, red all uh, all his Pokemon are I'm pretty sure 70 plus I think uh, the only Pokemon that's level 80 plus is his Pikachu, which I believe he, he uses opening. And, uh, yeah. So, until I get pretty much a majority of my Pokemon level 70 plus, 
I am probably not going to record another episode until then. So, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Gold. When I upload another episode, it will be to pretty much uh, fight Red and pretty much finish off this game. So, until then, guys, hope you guys enjoy this episode, and uh, see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day, everyone.